I'll check this out next. Okay, watch yourself out there. Load it up. See you back at base. Roger that. We'll be waiting. Made it. Gonna look around now. That... Let's consider that done. There we go. I'm almost there. We'll crack open a cold one for you. How is he? The fever's lower than it was, but it still hasn't broken. Hey, do you ever look at the ceiling of this tent? It's, it's all, I'm the ceiling. I keep rain off you. <laughs> 
Good job, Ceiling. The painkillers also seem to have taken effect. Let me take a look. You got them on antibiotics? As many as we can spare. Well, the good news is the wound hasn't become necrotic. I'll keep an eye on him till the fever breaks, but uh, I think your friend is gonna make it. Thanks, Doc. Thank a man for doing his job, and will just go to his head. <laughs> Do I get a lollipop now? I'm picking something up. Jack! Jack, do you copy? Damn it, man, where are you? You might want to go check it out. I need a breather. <sighs> Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. Roger that. We'll be waiting. We're clear. I found some supplies. Send runners for pickup. I'll get people moving. Looks like a good spot for an outpost. Should I tell everyone to pack up? Yeah. Tell the gang we're building an outpost here. Coming home now. I could use some food. I'm in position. I'll check to see what's here. There you go. Don't say I never gave you anything.
Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. We'll be ready. <laughs> I'm almost home. We'll crack open a cold one for you. So, you were up on Mount Tanner the day you found us? Yeah. My dad was up there that day. You know, my dad who's been missing ever since. Anything you want to tell me? Yeah. I guess it's time. Your dad? He didn't make it, Lily. I'm sorry. Thank you. I mean, I kind of already knew, but it's good to hear it out loud. There you go. Don't say I never gave you anything. My hero. Has it home? I'll check this out next. You're going to burn yourself out if you don't come home and rest a little.
got nothing left. Talk to the boys if you're looking for a trade. I'm bit. We've been hearing some rumors on the CB. People out looking for supplies, getting robbed, stuff like that. I see. And you're the law on this matter, are you? More like a concerned citizen. Well, your concern is noted, but we haven't had any problems here. We look after our own. And you wouldn't know anything about this, would you? Take a walk with me, will you? Let me see if I can't explain how things are. Funny thing about people, they don't much like to challenge their assumptions. Now me and my brother, we done pretty well for ourselves in all this. Other folks see that and, well, it is in the character of very few men to honor without envy a friend who has prospered. Aeschylus said that. And an envious man is a man who will spread rumors about his neighbors. Right. Because normally, gun-running moonshiners are such upstanding citizens. Because we're businessmen. It's all about seeing the long game. Rob a man, and he'll give you what he's got in his pockets. You sell him what he wants, though, what he needs, and he'll keep on coming back to give you everything he has. Did Aeschylus say that, too? Here, let's ask Mickey. Mickey, our friend here is curious if we've been stealing from our fellow survivors. Seems there are rumors to that effect. <laughs> Shit. If we was, wouldn't be anybody to spread no rumors. See? Nothing to it. Now why don't you run along, and if we hear anything, you'll be the first to know. Job denied it, but I'm pretty sure they know something about it at least. Perfect. Our friends and neighbors. What should we do? I think for now, we just tell our runners to stay extra sharp. We don't want to antagonize the Wilkerson's if we don't have to. All right, I'll let everybody know. You watch yourself out there, too. I'm on the move. You can't do everything yourself. Come home and rest. Somebody else can pick up the slack. our defenses, just to be safe. We might want to set up a few more outposts. Oh! <laughs> 
I'll run this home. Roger that. We'll be waiting. I could use some food. Free and clear. See you soon. I hope you brought me something pretty. I'll show you when I get there. Jesus, what's the point anymore? We're never gonna survive this. Shit. Well, what'd you expect? Shit, at this rate I'd settle for a slingshot. Better luck finding ammo for it at least. Sounds like the situation out there has changed. How are things on the home front? Tense. 
people are starting to get antsy, what with the crowding and all. I'll swing by when I get the chance. We'll talk about it. Man, I told you this was a mistake. Jack should have known better than to go off alone. You want to go home? I didn't say that. Just, you should have known better is all. Heads up, we got a visitor. This is good, right? I mean, it doesn't suck. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. Roger that. Guess we bit off. Happy to help. We appreciate it. Last we heard from him, Jack should be somewhere in this vicinity. Now let's get looking. Hello? I don't have enough space for this. Found some supplies. Send runners for pickup. I'll get people moving. Maybe later. Sets at nine o'clock. Look, I just think we got a picture here. We 
We all like Jack, but let's face it, the guy is probably dead. Hey, you in there? Let it get up. I don't have enough space for this. This is good, right? I mean, it doesn't suck. I don't have enough space for this. I don't have enough space for this. That's not going to work. I don't have enough space for this. I don't have enough space for this. Hey, you in there? Oh. 
I don't have enough space for this. Don't let it get up! <laughs> Found some supplies. Send runners to pick up. I'll see you free and send them your way. if we get ganked, huh? You think Becca's gonna send even more guys after us? Cause I don't. Anybody home? Am I glad to see you guys? You didn't think we were gonna leave you out here, did you? How did you even find me anyway? We had a little help. I, I don't know what to say. I'm not sure I would have survived out here on my own. Let's go. Let's do this. What happened, anyway? Oh, man, I was stupid. I was searching this garage for some gas for the generators when I heard some of those cops from the courthouse start coming up the street. I mean, I don't know, maybe they would have left me alone. But I heard those broadcasts. I didn't want to take any chances. So I jumped out the back window. And of course, what happens? I land right in the middle of a goddamn horde. Please tell me that you're joking. I managed to get clear, but they were right on my ass, and I was low on ammo. All I could do was hole up in an empty house and hope that they got bored.
Bay, we're here. That's our place. Thanks again for all the help. Hey, why don't you come inside? Quinn. Oh, thank God. If you ever do something that incredibly stupid again, I will kill you, okay? Hi, Becca. Don't you hi, Becca, me with your aw shuck small town charm. I can't believe you. We need to stay close to home. Jack could have died out there. I couldn't risk that. No, you just risked everything we have by leaving this place undefended. But I'm glad you're home safe. Well, you can thank our friend here for that. We'd have been in real trouble otherwise. Okay, I admit it. I'm impressed. You happy? I just saw that truck again. I think they're watching us. Any idea who they are? No, but they're none of the people we usually trade with. I need a breather. Time to take a look around.
I'm in position. I'll look and see what we got. I need a breather. So damn tired. Things are getting pretty hairy out there. You may need to hurry. I'm picking something up. Give me a second to get it tuned in. Don't trust the army. They don't care what happens to us. They're turning us out in the goddamn street. For all I know, this is all their fault. All right, lady, that's enough. Off the radio. What do you suppose that was about? Don't know. But I think I want to find out. I already took my fair share. on our side, if you know what I mean. Due respect, Your Honor, we're stretched too thin as it is. You got half my guys guarding the dispensary instead of out there pushing these things back. I understand the difficulty, Sheriff, but I don't know what you expect me to do about it. We only have so many trained officers left, and I'm not comfortable with the prospect of arming civilians for this kind of work. If you'd let me start training them, I... We'll discuss this later, Sheriff. We have a visitor. Welcome. I suppose you've heard our broadcasts? Well, it's all true. We have a safe, secure society here, governed by the rule of law. Walk with me. I'll explain. You have a society? I I'm sorry, what exactly happened to the United States while I wasn't looking? Look around. We're facing a disaster of unprecedented scale. We have no way of knowing how widespread it is, or how long it will take federal authorities to respond. Until they do, we have to look out for ourselves. It may not be the most constitutionally traditional succession, but it's all we have. All we have? The army's camp just, just across the river. <laughs> yes, and other than vaguely threatening radio broadcasts, they've made no attempt to contact us or provide relief efforts to the civilian government. Meanwhile, ordinary citizens like yourselves are living in fear. Fear of the dead. Fear of the criminal element that sees this as an opportunity to prey on their fellow man. Fear of the uncertain future of our nation. But it doesn't have to be that way. And, of course, all firearms will be surrendered. 
Only duly appointed law enforcement officers are allowed to go armed. Right, right. Well, thank you very much for the offer, but we're doing just fine on our own. And I'm damn sure not surrendering my guns while the streets are full of flesh-eating dead people. I'm very sorry to hear that. We'd certainly prefer it if people joined us freely, before the issue has to be forced. Is that a threat? Just a reminder that the Wild West doesn't last forever. We're penned in pretty good by these things, and like you might have heard, we're short-handed. Tell you what, help me clear some of these problem areas out, and I'll vouch for you. Put in a good word, maybe set up some kind of trade arrangement. Head it out. You're going to burn yourself out if you don't come home and rest a little. Our scouts can't go anywhere without running into hordes. I need to breathe. This is bullshit. We're just trying to survive out here. You can't kill us for that. Uncle Sam would seem to disagree with you there. Our orders are to evict squatters with lethal force if they resist. You resisted, so... Just let us go. I, I got kids, man. And yet you're out here, violating quarantine, unlawfully occupying people's homes. Great parenting. 
Look, we, we're sorry, right? We're just trying to get by, same as everybody. <sighs> you got 30 seconds to get out of my sight. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26. <sighs> This is about the biggest crock of horse shit ever. We're done here, Sergeant. Tell your men to prep for evac and RTB. Yes, ma'am. Why don't you make yourself useful and go babysit those two? Hello? This one's clear. I found some supplies. Send runners for pickup. Okay, I'll round up everybody that's available. Thank you. Hey, you in there? I don't think any of us did really, not even Maya. But I do know that he was always ready with a joke to lighten the mood. Sometimes one of his cracks was the only thing that kept us all from killing each other. Anyways, even if we didn't know him that well, we'll miss him. So long, Ed. Cannot believe you. You want to run away, again. Come on, Lily, that's not fair. You're right, it's not. We've built a home here, and you just want to abandon it because things are getting tough. Hey, what's going on? I was just trying to tell Lily that we need to start looking for a new place to live. We're too cramped in here, and our runners keep having to go farther and farther from the church to find supplies. Seems reasonable. Things have been pretty tight lately. Fine. Then maybe you should bail on us too. <laughs> 